Molly, I, I think probably everybody would accept that if people have specialist conditions or exotic diseases, then you might need to take them a long way away from their homes to treat them. But it seems extraordinary that in this kind of instance, that's the only option. Not only extraordinary, but really quite cruel, because these are people who cannot cope with the sort of stress that's involved in having to travel that distance. And it's fine to hear the Prime Minister say, you know, how, how she's very concerned as if she suddenly discovered this problem with mental health services, but the Conservatives have been in power either individually or in coalition for seven years now, so if we've got this mental health crisis, it must be something to do with them. And I really think we need to look for deeper causes of what's going on here, because we saw a vulnerable young person there, and we know that the pressure in schools around testing and competitiveness and so on... In, uh, um, encourages mental ill health in young people and then we've got people who are signing on for benefits and constantly being sort of persecuted in terms of looking in terms of looking at work and it's this kind of constant stress and pressure that's adding to the mental health crisis I saw today 61 million prescriptions for antidepressants considering there are 65 million people in this country I mean Sarah can tell us how long the prescriptions last but it's an absolutely vast amount of medication and we're just not tackling this issue as we should